What's up, my friends? Quick video. I need to shoot this right now so I don't forget. It's on the top of my mind. Um, I just met, uh, or tried to introduce myself to a to a young homie. When I say young homie, I mean uh, somebody straight out of prison, the re a real deal, real homeboy. Um, and I know who they are, what they look like, how they act, how they walk, just because I've been there. You know, a lot of you know that. Um, but it was really interesting because I've been away from that life for so long. Um, I'm not involved in that life. I don't have that mentality anymore. It's, it's a different, it's a different, it's a subculture. That's what it is, a subculture. And uh, I, uh, you know, I was, I was incarcerated for the majority of 10 years, of a 10 year period. Um, so, so I know, I know the life, I know, I know the mentality, I know, I know how it works, uh, but I'm not that person anymore. You know, I've grown, I've self-development, psychology, neuroscience, changed lives. Now I help people, you know what I mean? I support, I support these guys, young, young and old, incarcerated. I help them, I support them. Anyways, I went up to him and I just said, hey buddy, how you doing, man? I haven't seen you here before at the gym. No disrespect to this guy, by the way. Um, just he's where he's at sub subconsciously, right? Where he, what he's conditioned to believe and how to live. Um, so I say, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? And he looks at me just with like, what do you want, right? I mean, that's that's it. What do you want? I, I kind of give him a fist bump. He gives me a fist bump, and then he backs up like three feet. Coming, right? He, he, he's protecting the surroundings. When you're in prison, you're, you you make sure you're aware of who's around you, what's around you, how close they are. Um, so so I just talked a little bit. He's like, what's up? What's up, right? He's, he's talking like that. <laughs> I remember the, the those days. And I just said, nothing, man. I said, uh, I haven't seen you around here before. And he's like, so what? I've been here for a while, man. What's up? Right? He, he was very defensive. And I was being very friendly to him, trying to just build a relationship with him. But his defense mechanisms are up. I didn't get a chance to get in full detail with him. But my assumption is he just got out of prison because he was very forceful. His energy and everything he thought and talked and the way he spoke was straight out of prison. I used to be like that. So I just, I just said, nothing, man, Not, nothing's up, buddy. I'm just, you know, back in my day, I, I'd been around just like I could tell you've been around. I just wanted to say what's up. And he was just like, oh yeah, yeah, all right, all right, whatever. And he just turned around and he walked away. And so I just, I left it at that, right? He, he's, he's in his defense mode, but that's his life. That's his life right now. And I feel so bad for these guys because just meeting people is an opportunity for growth. Meeting people is an opportunity um, to change your life, but where he's at right now, and I've been there, so I know this for a fact, he doesn't know any other life but where he's at. He doesn't know any other life but where he's at. And you have to expand, you gotta open up. And back in the day when I was in prison, I had an epiphany, I actually had a God-given uh, spiritual thing that I saw, I can explain that another time later, but God showed me a life, he showed me a life. I was visually saw another life for myself, so I was able to chase after it. Um, and I remember just going, there has to be more to life than this. I'm, I'm gonna go after it, I'm gonna seek, I'm gonna find. But before that, I had no idea there was any other type of life. So I was stuck there. And this young guy, he's stuck there. And I say young, I, I'm, I'm assuming he was in his 30s. Um, and to me, that's young. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to say this message because, listen, if, if you're prison, out of prison, convict, ex-convict, girl, woman, child, kid, whatever it is, you're in a subculture. And that's not life. There's so much more to life than that mentality of defense, homie, my gang, your gang, all that stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No disrespect. That's not a life. That's not a life. It leads nowhere, right? My path was death or prison for life. That's what it was. God-given. Uh, God, thanks to God, God given wisdom, God given ambition, I changed my life and I tried to pass it on to people. This guy, if he had a different upbringing, if he had a different condition, if he had a, a, a little inkling that his life could be different and he even wanted it and he, and we would have talked, I would have helped him. I'd love to help at risk youth, incarcerated, ex-convicts, the whole thing, because that's where I came from. I love to help people. He had, he, he had gold with me right here to help him and, and inform him and train him and teach him for free. <laughs> for free i do it for free for people who are incarcerated ex-convicts so anyhow um i just wanted to leave that out there that where are you at in your mind where are you at in your brain where are you stuck at what subculture are you in even if it's not prison what subculture are you in figure it out man change your life open your mind and invite people in don't push everybody away he had gold in me and i'm willing to give and serve these guys and gals don't push the blessing God has given you. Don't push away the blessing God has put in front of you because you're stuck where you've been. Move forward. Enjoy the day. Blessings.